No place better for Friday afternoon baseball than Wrigley Field in Chicago. Today, the opener of this three-game set. So digging in now, Cattell Marte. He will lead this one off today. The center fielder. There's a changeup taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. Dan Dero, the Cubs, as they take the field here this afternoon. They have certainly had it going lately, winners of eight in a row. I'm super excited, Matty, to watch this team play today because it's rare. You don't see many teams rattle off eight wins in a row like they have. It's all working for them right now, and I'm super excited to watch them take the field today. Time now to look at the Diamondbacks' the starting right lineup. Dero, what's your take as Adam they look to end their losing Jones. streak? Yeah, you take a look at this lineup they're running out today, and they got their work cut out for them with the sinker baller on the mound on the opposition side. They're going to have to see the ball up. They're going to have to work the home plate umpire. Can't be given four to six inches off the inside half, or he's going to have a field day pounding that sinker in there. Should be interesting to see right out of the chute if he's got the good one or not. That is third. The left fielder. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Swinging a grounder fouled off to the left. Lifted down the line in left. Schwarber shading to his right. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Batting four. Hey, this is what the every hitting baseball. coach teaches when you start playing baseball. Land. Don't try to do more than you can. Hit the ball where it's pitched, and he does a great job right there as he pushes it down the line nicely, and it bounces over for a ground rule double. Jake Lamb standing in now. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Bodie will put this one away and the side. At the plate, Daniel Descalzo. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Cubs. First pitch the of the at bat. Daniel. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And he is going to have extra bases here to start the home first. Around second. He's on his way to third. The relay throw. But he is in there with a triple. And these fans could not have asked that for a better way to start their the day. A leadoff triple yeah. in the home half. And they're off and running. Oh, yeah. Stepping in and looking to continue his hot streak. Chris Bryant. And he's been swinging it well the last oh. couple of games. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first in time, one away. And now that time to third. check how Joe Madden has lined the Cubbies up in this one. Anthony. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, you know, the key for this ball club has been Jason Hayward. Looking at the stats, he's hitting over 400 versus right-handed pitching this season. He's obviously facing a right-hander on the mound today. So, guys, he could have a real impact on this game. Here's the first pitch to him. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. So guys, these Diamondbacks, as they begin play, they come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Yeah, Matty, this team has definitely been struggling recently, and then you get a look up right now, and you're going to face the ace. Somebody has to step up for this team. I'll tell you what, if they're able to score a few early runs off him and put him on the... And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first Batting tally four. of the ball game. That's your stop. Here's yeah. Javier Baez. His batter oh, pitcher yeah. numbers with Luke Weaver. He's 8 of 14. Two of those hits were for home runs. Popped him up. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory. And that ends the inning. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. Back with more fun. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Eduardo Escobar. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Escobar. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Yanked on the ground down the line. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Okay, here's how the Cubbies are lining up defensively. 
Let's take a look at catcher Wilson Contreras. This guy's got one of the best arms in the game. Think Gary Sanchez, but in the National League. Nobody wants to attempt stealing bags on this guy and brings a powerful bat to the lineup. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. Into the bleachers and gone. And as the folks here at Wrigleyville are prone to do, that home run ball will make its way right back onto that left seven. field. So there. The catcher, Alex Avila. Ron, he takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones Batting forget it. about them as soon as the, the next base guy base. digs into Dick. the batter's box. Oh, he showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. In now, Nick Ahmed. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out, nothing in one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Try to get him to chase that. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So in now for Chicago, Wilson for Contreras. Contreras. He'll get to take the his catcher. first cuts here. Wilson. Contreras. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Liner toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Dan, after that base hit, he's extended his hit streak to nine games, and you know he wants double digits. Oh, there's no question about it. Listen, anybody can get a nine-game hitting streak, but when you call your buddies or send out a text message and say, hey, I'm about... And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him, a base hit. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his that pitch down the zone right the there, below the knee. Offensive player was all over it. Brody. First pitch on its way. Line drive to left. Peralta is there. Let's see if they try it. And he might have thought about it at third, but with one away, decides not to risk it. Batting it. The no next field, cub up, Kyle Schwarber, Kyle. and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First pitch coming, here it is. Line drive, base hit to right. And the run is in to score from second. It's now 3-1, to one. and he's in there with a two-run triple. A minute ago, this thing was no tied up, but when you're giving up triples, you're not going to be close for too long. Now a two-run lead and a base hit away from making it three. No balls in one strike. Here comes the 0-1. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it philosophy of hitting. As a pitcher, why not? Better than standing up there like you've never held a bat before. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. The 0 2 home hit to third. Lamb takes it in. Throw gets him two down. But one's all they get as the run scores. Two runs already down home, and now you can make it three. Base. Good job there right there of keeping it simple and putting the ball in play. First pitch of the at bat. Right side hit hard. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. 
Runner at first following the error. The right and next it'll be the Bryant. outfielder, Chris Bryant. Bryant. First delivery to him on the way. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Come set and the 0-1. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Marte has it in his tracks, and that retires the side. So they pick up three runs on three hits, one error, and a runner left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Cubs are on top, four to one. Leading off the inning, Luke Leading Weaver, and they'll need him to get the something pitcher. going here. Luke. Owen won the Weaver. count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. The batter. The Here's fielder. the first pitch to him. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. The hitter in this situation has to understand that this pitcher is on the attack, looking for a quick inning. If there's something in the heart of the plate, you better pull the trigger on it. Bryant will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. The batter, the right fielder. First pitch Adam on its way. Jones. Lined into right, a base hit. Now batter, number six. Up next for Arizona, David Peralta. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribby. He comes set, here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Popped him up. Bodie in foul ground. And that's the third out. Leading off for the Cubs. The first Here comes pitch. the first pitch. Anthony. Rizzo. Hit sharply on the ground. Escobar ranging up the middle. And there's one away. The batter number nine. Shortstop. So one away here Javier. with the bases empty. And into bat Baez. next, the versatile weapon, Javier Baez. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. And they're able to get the ball in quickly so he'll be held to a single with one away. The catcher, number 40. So striding in Wilson, Wilson Contreras. He singled John and scored Everett. in his first appearance in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. This is line to left. Into the slide and he comes up with a great catch for the second out. On to first and they get the double play. So after the three spot last time around, he's able to bounce back and hang a zero here. He's ready. Leading Here's the first Arizona. offering. The third baseman. Swing and a miss on a pitch below the knees. Yeah. One strike. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. You hear that phrase, climb the ladder all the time? The batter, and that's pretty five. much what he did right there. When you change the hitter's out. eye level with Catch each pitch and that at bat, it becomes very hard for him to adjust and put the bat on the ball. He made that strikeout look real easy. Nope, Breaking down. ball called just a bit low. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back goes Hayward to the track, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues. Middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. Into the box, Christian Walker. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. 
Hey, two tough pitches right there and expect more of the same. With that guy standing out on That's second cool, base, yeah. you don't want any RBI scoring right here. With that base open at first, he's going to grind out and try and get this guy to swing at something outside the zone. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Christian now Walker batter. goes down for Three out runs. number two in Alex. the top half. Oh, one. Strike oh, one to start the at bat. Escobar at second with two down. Three. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Digging in, Jason Hayward. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And they've had some good at bats against him all game base, long. It, it seems like it's just been hard hit Stay after there. hard hit. As we take a look Bloody. at his line here, the numbers do not lie. This has not been one of his better outings, and he'd be the first to tell you that. Into right field, that's a base hit. But he gets back in time, oh safe at second base. I mean, there's no secret right now. now. There's a fight at the bat rack. No, Everybody it. wants up Style. at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. Warhol. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Stepping in now, Kyle Schwarber. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. He settles under it and makes the catch in the deepest confine of the ballpark. A tag, and he's out at the play to double play. Now so a struggle that Stop time pitcher. for him in center Kyle. field, and as a result, he'll be tagged with the E8 on the play. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and the pitcher Kyle Hendricks will be the next to bat. No balls in one strike. A one count, here's the pitch. Weak grounder down the line at third. Ready with the 0-2. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. Bodie blows through the stop sign. Headed for home. He is in time. And he's cut down at the plate. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Tori Lavello about the Diamondbacks' offensive production, and he mentioned they need to show a lot more patience with their at-bats moving forward. He told me that they've been way too aggressive the on the first pitch of the at-bat, and while he doesn't necessarily condemn oh, that man. if it's leading to hits, that's clearly not the case right now. Over 80% of their at-bats have started with a swing on the first pitch, and a lot of those have resulted in swinging misses or outs, guys. All right, thanks, Heidi. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. The 0-2 once more. Popped him up. Under it is Rizzo. One away. The batter. That's exactly the what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. Weaver. They took him off the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Standing in now, Luke Weaver comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Schwarber has a read on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting, the center fielder, Cattell Marte. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Cattell Marte. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Hard on the ground towards short. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Ready for now another batting. shot now. Adam right Jones. Field. Last Adam. time through was a base hit. And a first pitch sinker is over for strike one. No doubt. This is a steal situation right here. 
two outs and the leadoff hitter on first, this is the time you roll the dice and hope he gets in the scoring position where he can get a hit to bring him home. And it's fouled away. The 0-2 once more is swung on and missed strike three. Back to the top of the order now, Leading and that will bring up the call. ever versatile Daniel Descalso. Daniel. Descalso. Right side, Walker fields it cleanly, and the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now batting, right fielder. Here's Chris Bryant now. He's bounced out and flown Bryant. out in his first two plate appearances. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. The first baseman. So bases 44. are empty here with two gone. Anthony. And into bat next, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Hit hard up the middle. On to first, and they don't come any easier than that. A three-pitch inning, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs. As they hold. Standing in, David Peralta. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 0-2 once more. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Bryant on the move. He's there and records the first out. Now batting, third baseman. So here's the Jake cleanup hitter for Arizona, Lamb. Jake Lamb. He looked to bounce back Here after on. striking out his last time up. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right, but what's really impressive to me, he hasn't five. walked anyone Short either. Stop. He's just pounding Eduardo. the zone. His stuff is Escobar. dirty today. Eduardo Escobar standing in. Strike one to start the at-bat. One for two in the ball game thus far. Now the pitch. Fouled off. One run, five hits, and two errors thus far for Arizona. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. They trail it four to one. Matt Andrees enters to do the pitching in now the bottom of the sixth. The now the Cubs four-hole hitter, Javier Baez. Andrews. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Lined hard toward right center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So a line drive single to center makes it two hits for him this afternoon. And as we pull up our Cubs leaderboard, you can see he ranks second on the team in that category. First pitch on its way. Fouled away. Baez on at first. Nobody out. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. And there to put this one away is Jones, and that's out number one. Up next for the Cubs, the center fielder, Jason. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up the multi-gold glover, Jason Hayward. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Hit well on the ground to first. 
And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. And the throw by Jones will not be in time. He's in there at third. The third baseman. Well, these days don't happen Kobe. often. You better dig yourself when you get three knocks in a big league way go. Boy, it's hard to have three hits in one day, but boy, this guy is off to a great start in this one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. On the ground to the left side. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. And they'll add one more to the lead. It's now a five to one ball game. Up next for the Cubs, no left fielder. Kyle. Ready now, Kyle Schwarber. A hit in two tries for him so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Back up the middle. A dive, and he knocks it down. Throw to the plate. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. The tag, and he's nabbed, trying for two. And now, now the Cubs pitcher, no pitcher, Kyle Hendricks. Kyle. And a chance now to increase his lead Hendrick. if he can deliver something here with two gone. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. This one's down to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And a good he's effort up. as he's able to stick with it and get the... Stepping up to the plate, Christian Walker. He'll start things out Arizona. against Kyle Hendricks as we get the baseman. inning underway. Christian. And the inning will begin Walker. with a fly ball out to straightaway right. Bryant is over a few steps toward the line, and he has it for the first out. Now batting, the catcher, Alex Avila. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Hey, it's really hard to pitch a gem. And what helps? This guy's first pitch strike percentage, how about 100%? Can't get any better than that. And he fouls this one off. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. The Striding in, first. Nick Ahmed, 0 oh for 2 on the afternoon Nick. so far. Amen. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face, he's obviously frustrated right now. But it's a long season. You're going to have a lot of ebbs and flows with your offense. Does he take a step back and relax a little bit, or does he call a team meeting right after this one? That's the first. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row he set down. And we're back for the bottom of the seventh as we check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Cubs lineup with manager Joe Madden, and he was very pleased with how little Your they're swinging and please. missing right now. The They've obviously got a double-digit total in the hits column, no but perhaps yeah, just as impressive spot. is that they've Number not struck out a single time Matt. today. That's about as rare Good. as it gets in today's now sport, perfect, so they have a lot comes. to feel good about right Number now, 36. Matt. Thank you, Heidi. Matt Cook is perfect. into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Now, now at the plate, Chris the Bryant. Right he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last oh, yeah. time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly number roll two. Number 44. Anthony Rizzo Anthony. stands in now. He was a ground out Rizzo. victim last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And it's fouled away. A one count. Here's the pitch. Hold high in the air out to right field. Jones is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. On to first, a double play. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Cubbies are in front, six to one. So stepping in, John Ryan Murphy. We're in the eighth Leading now, and Arizona. nothing's changed the out there on the mound. Well, oh, I've been very impressed with John how this Ryan. starter's going about his business, Murphy. Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Well, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. If he's going to have the ability to flip that in there whenever he wants, this is going to be a tough test. 
weak grounder down the first baseline but a foul ball and the count holds it 0 and 2 and he struck him out and there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Back to the top spot in the Arizona lineup now and stepping in Patel Marte. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Now here it comes. Popped him up. Contreras over to his left and he brings it in on the warning track. The look at our line score this afternoon and it's been a good one for the bleacher bums thus far. The home standing Cubs enjoying a big lead here late. Now an off speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game and that'll. So here's the cleanup hitter, Javier Baez, and he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. That's shortstop, Javier Baez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Hey, boys, you talk about getting your A swing off. That's what it looks like right there. A guy with massive power letting it eat line drive to center field and he will run this one down moving to his right and that's the first out of the inning the catcher, good contact 40. to start out the inning we'll thought he say. might be on base with some sort Jones, of a hit right, but right. it hung up there too long just unlucky that time first delivery to him on the way this is hit pretty well out to left field Peralta going back on the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batting, center fielder, Jason. Now at the plate, Hayward. Jason Hayward. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. And this is going to be his fourth hit of the game as this should wind up as extra bases. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. The third Some base. guys the just lay back and watch that first pitch go. By, no matter what, work the count, make the pitcher waste a few pitches, but when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. He jumped all over it. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Oh and one here it comes a swing and a high drive to right center field Marte going back on it at the track on the warning track he makes the catch Cubs strength Ian Happ is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now number eight Ian into the box now David Peralta and his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth the left fielder Number six. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. Now here's a ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Bryant racing back to the track. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. In now, Jake Lamb. Now so go after the first baseman. pitch and bounce it into Jake. foul territory. Land. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now that ball is smoked carrying the deep left. This one's into the bleachers and gone. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far. The batter number five shortstop. On his way toward Your the mound now please. is skipper Joe Madden. And it tough. would appear he's seen enough Number of 15. his starter this afternoon. Brandon. Cut fastball taken Morrow. for strike one. Well, this one's been a bit of a head scratcher. Despite their home run production today, 
Yeah, Matty V, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, D-Row, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. Oh, and there's just so the many facets back. to the game, defense, the base, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs is going to win the ball game. Christian Walker is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Behind 0-2 now. The next 0 2 he is swung on and missed. He got him. Wilmer Ladies Flores will get the call here three. as he'll hit for the pitcher. For Arizona, number 41, Wilmer. Flores. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Swing and a chopper down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. 6-3 to three, the final score today. Chicago took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Kyle Hendricks earns the win his second, striking out 12 in the process.